What are we doing today? Speaking of fun things. Is it exciting? Yes. Let's go. We gotta go that way. You got it? Move this camera here. Mom, I'm going to help you a little bit. I got you. You okay? Hey guys, it's Heather with the Moscow, and today we are going to be out here picking some of our pumpkins that are ready. Uh, last year, I... Last year, I um, planted a whole pumpkin patch, did a whole thing, and a tree fell on it, and FedEx ran over a pumpkin, and somebody else ran over some pumpkins, and we got one little baby's pumpkin. But every year, we decorate the house like ornamental pumpkins, and then the kids really like to come out here and smash them. So they came out here in the backyard where we had nothing at the time and smashed them, and now I have all these pumpkins growing. And some of them have gotten to the point where the stems are really nice and firm and dried out, and they've changed color to brown and the skins are nice and hard. So we're gonna go ahead and pick those today. So let's start over here with this, what looks like to be like a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. So we've got this guy right here and his skin is looking really firm and he's a nice bright orange color. I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of these leaves off so that we can see. Why, you don't wanna come cut this one? Come here, buddy. We're gonna cut the stem as close to the leaf junction here as we can get it, but Wyatt wants to do it. Ready to cut it? We are ready to cut it. Uh, ready to cut it now? Mm-hmm. Watch out for the camera. Okay. Now you're gonna come over here. Okay. We'll slide that on. Ready, squeeze, squeeze, you got That's it. Right. Yep, there you go. There you go. got it. Let's go away inside and go eat it. <laughs> we can't. This isn't one to eat, buddy. It's one to decorate with. Decorate it's a good it? thing we got that one because it's getting wet underneath there. So we'll put this in our garden cart to cure for a day or two. Because you don't. You want to eat them? Uh, no. I'm just going to. You just hang. Okay, so there's one. We're gonna go over here where I know there's another one that's kind of bright over there, but we're gonna put these on the front porch and I'm glad we went ahead and got this one because it's getting kind of wet here and I'm afraid it would have rotted. So um, we'll put this, I put a piece of cardboard on my front porch so that I could just leave these secure for a couple days. So let's go over here and check on another one. Sorry you guys, the lighting is really, really bad, but We've got another one here and this stem is turning and it's actually getting some mold on here. So let's get that guy cut too. So we're gonna rummage through here and see what we can find that's ready, but we'll probably just speed up that part and we'll show you what we're doing with them when we've got them all cut. So these are the three that we got over here. There's at least one more of these still on the vine and there's a baby one of this, so we might get some more. Um, but I know one other place where we've got two more pumpkins. I'm very excited about these. Like these are free. I pay a lot of money for these pumpkins. These are free pumpkins. So let's, let's go to the other area. 
look at this little baby pumpkin growing. So, by the way, that other area over there where there's pumpkins. I said I would dig around in there. Probably didn't see a whole lot of digging. That's because I am very afraid of snakes. And while I want snakes here, so they'll possibly eat the voles. What? You're playing Slinky Dog Dash? Have fun, buddy. That's your favorite ride. He's got his power wheels out. And he makes me really nervous because he likes to go down this big hill as fast as he can. And he calls it Slinky Dog Dash, which is the roller coaster at Disney he loves the most. So then there's that. But back to my non ADD moment. So, so if you're noticing over there, it looks like a snake den. Like it looks like I'm gonna stand on one of those stumps and it's gonna fall underneath my foot and I'm gonna fall and a bunch of snakes are just gonna get me. And while I think snakes are great and it's totally in my head and it's a mental thing that I try to get over and I'm a lot better than I used to be. I am very afraid of snakes. But I want them here because it's good for the habitat and I wish they'd eat the dadgum voles. So there's plenty of snake habitat around here. I hope we could cohabitate peacefully. But, moral of the story, it's not why we're over here. We're over here because I know that there's two Cinderella pumpkins and they're not super big, but they're super cute. And we're gonna get these. This is where I had my pumpkin patch last year and it died. So, exciting. Let's grab them. Wait for it. Wait for it. Playing Slinky Dog Dash. There's one right there. There's also a random potato right there. I just know a snake's gonna come out of here and get me. We got that one because it was gonna rot. They say that these will color up some more too, but still pretty. Alrighty, so this is what we've got today. That jack-o'-lantern and these pink, green, and then the two Cinderella's that are pretty light. They say that they will um, color up some more as they cure. So how they should cure is in a area with indirect sunlight. So I've got them on my porch where they won't get wet. Um, on a piece of cardboard in case they do rot or something, it won't ruin the wood. So first we need to go wash them off. So let's take them up to the hose and wash them off. First, let me put away these tomatoes I just harvested before Max eats them. So now I'm just gonna go through here and give these a good washing off. I got an old sock, AKA rag, um, to knock off any debris, but we're just gonna give them a good wash. Side note, went ahead and dismantled it. It's almost fall planting season and it was looking rough, so I got tired of looking at it, took it apart. Also, side note, remember these that were looking dead? A little bit of water and love, they're coming back. So there we have it. We've got five free pumpkins. They weren't on drip. We weren't babying them at all. We're gonna set them here just today till where I washed them dries off. And then I've got cardboard on the front porch and we'll set them there for 
till it's time to decorate. That way they can cure up for us. Maybe they'll color up some. I'm a little worried about this one because it does have a, a hole right here. So it'll probably rot on us. So I'll make sure to put like a, a trash bag underneath that one for sure to protect the porch. Um, but I'm pretty happy with these. This one I'm super excited about. But, you know, free pumpkins, free volunteer pumpkins. And we've got at least five. There were two large, three large gourds. Two of them will probably be ready in the next week. Um, there's another pumpkin like this out there that's not nearly ready. There's a little baby pumpkin of these and a baby pumpkin of these on there growing too. So that's really exciting. I am very, very much looking forward to fall. It is, he went upstairs, baby. Um, I'm very much looking forward to fall. I'm ready to get some fall plants in here. Um, I am <laughs> growing a little tired of how, um, tired things are looking out here but we are getting a lot of produce and that is super exciting so anyhow thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye